I haven't been to the allotment for over a week, I must confess, because things have been so busy, and when we're not busy, it has been teeming it down. So there's lettuces onto bowls, unfortunately, so they will go to the chicken, they won't be wasted. Um, there's some um, um, chard that needs digging up that's gone to bolt. But I do notice, let's have a walk around, let me put it down, down, I've got flayed. Flayed, we've got black currant coming on. We've got broad beans. Some of the blows are artichokes, artichokes, artichokes here. This geese is called artichoke and have gone too far because um, we haven't been up and wet, but leave them because the bees love them. We'll do the second sowing, look I'm going to do loads of hanging Andrew. Second sowing of carrots, turnips, radish, beetroot. They're pretty fat and oh look, we've got some raspberries to come and I've covered the ones at the end. And look at the peas. Right, I'm going to do some harvesting while Andrew takes Blaze for a walk around the meadow. And then it's a lot of tidying up, I think. Have we got any figs, Andrew, on the fig tree? So, yeah, loads of tidying up, loads of work to be done. The goose gogs may be nearly ready. Um, my first time with this one. this area for leeks and we've got to plant up we've got lots of catching up to do like everybody everything is so bloody behind i don't know about you but i'm really struggling this year and my germination rates have been crap um i was looking on the an allotment facebook site and everybody was saying they were having trouble with carrots well i've done two lots and that's shit nothing's come up so um let's just look at what we have got let's harvest them and i'll show you the the booty, the vegetable booty, not my booty, and then um, we'll see how we've done. Some berries, uh, raspberries and taberries, some peas, some beans, some radish, some lettuce, really good. Um, because we haven't decided what to do the path, I'm letting the nasturtiums go mad, because as you see this bit, we've got to decide what to do. So that's the really positive side. Um, let me show you the really pooey side. Andrew's busy hoeing. So just like everybody else, we're very late in getting stuff happening. This, as I said, was our third sowing. So radishes are done well. Look at all this sowing I've done. This was one our first of our succession sowing with root veg, beetroot, carrot, turnip, swede, etc. I think I can see one carrot. Okay, so we thought, you know, been an iffy year, we'll do another sowing. <sighs> Look, just as crap. So I feel part of the allotment is bare, but I've had dreadful, dreadful results um, with root veg. Um, let me know how you're doing. Is it just me? <laughs> My crap at growing root veg. Um, yeah, so I've got no root veg other than radish at all, and one carrot, and I think two beetroot there. Um, so I'm going to carry on successional sowing. It's just been such a pooey year, but summer raspberries we're going to cut i'm um, sorry autumn raspberries there we're going to cover before we go the summer raspberries the ones we inherited that we'd let just grow to find out what they are um, picked loads of peas we're waiting for some of those to um bosom out that's not the word i'm looking for what's the word i'm looking for yeah. fill out i don't know where i've got bosom there must be something very fraudian about that um my beans are struggling in the cold basically they are going up slowly um, 
um, obviously everything in the greenhouse is faring so much better. And in the Brasca tunnel, it is really untidy. Let me see if I can get through. So we've got some purple sprouting and sprouts there. I'm going to pull up some lettuce at the back that are going to seed. It seems to be the green going to seed and the red and not, which is good. And I'm going to have a general tidy up. I used, believe it or not, two packs in these very small areas of wild flower seeds. And look how sparse they are. Even, look, my climbing squashes. You know, they're just not liking the weather conditions. It's not warm enough for long enough. Um, it'd be interesting to hit... Oh, It'd be interesting to hear what you have got to say. Let me know. Um, yeah, I mean, exciting that we've got this harvest, but it's nothing like last year. Last year was a really good year. How are you doing? Please tell me whether you've had problems with root veg. Either that or it's me. So, just closing for now. Please! Blaze, Blaze, hello. Blaze is getting impatient watching rabbits, and I better stop talking and get working because Andrew might get a wee bit fed up. And we're just going to have to bite the bullet, I think. And perhaps, I don't know, I've seen carrots for sale as seedlings this year. Now, I was always taught root vegetables didn't transplant. Perhaps we have to give that a go to, to make them work. What do you think? Speak to you soon. Right, podding my peas. Great to pod them and get them in the freezer straight away and they will remain lovely. And they are as sweet as anything. The one thing I haven't done is look up the recipe. My mum used to always make pea pod wine. So if you've got any ideas of good recipes, let me know. Um, I don't know why it's so satisfying. This always reminds me of being with my nan and my mum when you are preparing vegetables or whether it's forage stuff, blackberries. But this time of year, when it's one of your first harvests, enjoy it. Because too soon autumn comes round and it's a lovely time of year, especially to know you've grown your peas from that to a full plant and you know what you put in the ground and boy does it taste good. Well, this is the lettuce bed, salad bed and the Rob Smith tomatoes bed. But as you see, I think the Rob Smith tomatoes are winning. These are a current tomato, size of current, um, grafted onto outdoor rootstock. Um, found, I think he said in the 17th century on a beach. Um, first time I've grown them. And there are four plants in here. And look at this. So they are romping along. So, I haven't found any tiny tomatoes growing yet. Let's have a look. No, these are still flowers. But as you can see, there's lots of flowers on them down in there. So we'll see how they go. I'll let you know how they go on. Well, like you, some of my root veg aren't growing. In fact, none of them are, but my weeds are. So I've been started to do some weeding, but I've already also replanted what was my cosmos bed. I was saying to you, oh, I've never had trouble with oyster shells before. Well, the slugs have got me this year. So instead of just um, sprinkling the top of the oyster shells, I've dressed them. And I've put what remains of my dahlias, because they've all been eaten, 
and um, will hopefully prevent those nasty slugs from getting there. Well, the same in this bed. 50% of the bedding I planted has been eaten. So I've cut off all the leaves of the forming that could reach the plants that I think were the bridge for the slugs. This side's fared a little better, but I've still had to replant. And guess what I saw climbing over this cosmos? Excuse the shadow, little mouse. Right, I'm just making up some frames for the beehive. This time of year you have to add extra supers with extra frames for the honey flow and to stop bees swarming. So I'm going to do, I have some brood frames to do, but I'm doing some super frames. So this is what they look like when they're done and they're suspended in the hive. You might have seen in the last video. And I'm just making some up, so here goes.